This is KOMU 8 News Today. Uh, virus continues to be uh, by far the predominant uh, strain of virus that's causing influenza uh, in the state. Today, the Centers for Disease Control will provide an update on the spread of the H1N1 virus around the country. Already, one in five children nationwide have had flu symptoms, but less than half of Americans say they'll get an H1N1 vaccine shot. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to KOMU 8 News today on this Friday, October 23rd, 2009. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lauren Whitney. And I'm Brooke Hashin for Megan. And I'm Michelle Bogueth. We're starting off, we're slowly starting to see those temperatures come down. Our high for today will actually come just sometime right after midnight. Mm -hmm. The cold front's pushing through. All that moisture's out ahead of that. Shouldn't see any precipitation unless it's light drizzle today. And that'll be kind of far and few in between Not there. Not too bad. But otherwise, just dealing with mostly cloudy sky and temperatures that aren't budging, it's honestly, cold, all actually. that much. Traffic enforcement heats up today. The statewide push to pull dangerous drivers over started just about two minutes ago. KOMU 8's Ryan Takeo is live near I-70. Now, Ryan, tell us the details of this special detail. Thanks, Ryan. You can challenge your knowledge at a trivia contest. The State Historical Society of Missouri is holding one to support National History Day. The event will be from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Knights of Columbus Hall in Columbia. You need to make a reservation in advance to participate. Not liking this cold weather? You can warm up yourself with a bowl of chili. Two Columbia Police Department employees are competing among a group of city employees for the best chili. To per partake in the meal, tickets are $7 at the door. The event will take place from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Reichman Pavilion on Stevens Lake Park. The funds will go to the United Way. And to top off your Friday night, how about some Celtic music? The battlefield band is coming to town. The band has been performing on the international scene for more than three decades. They're inspired by their rich heritage of Celtic music and the modern Scottish cultural scene. Tickets are available at Full Spectrum Photo in Jefferson City. The event will start at 7.30 and last till 9.30 p.m. at the Richardson Auditorium on the Lincoln University campus. Here's a reminder, if you want to comment or question the way we cover the news, be sure to visit our website at KOMU.com. Then watch Fridays on KOMU 8 News at 6 for your view of the news. Good morning. You're taking a live look over Columbia. It is Friday, October 23rd, 2009. Welcome to KOMU 8 News. Today, everyone, I'm Lauren Whitney. And I'm Brooke Hash in for Megan. And I'm Michelle Bogoth. We're starting off a little bit on the cool side. That cold front has passed right on through. And we're starting to see those temperatures drop a little bit mm -hmm. out there. And they continue to kind of remain about the same where they'll be for now as we head on into your afternoon as well. So don't forget the jacket. You won't need the rain gear today, though. That's good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of... I, I it's know a we workout heard it's, care and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. And it's I know they said it's a little bit misty outside uh -huh. right now so we got a little drizzle potentially going on but nothing I mean nothing about yeah exactly <laughs> exactly all right thanks a lot Michelle today the Columbia City Clerk will begin accepting petitions from those seeking to be Columbia's next mayor to get on the ballot the candidates need to collect 100 to 150 signatures from registered Columbia voters KOMU 8's Elizabeth Billingsley joins us now with more on how the race is shaping up Elizabeth a hard landing by an Army helicopter killed one person and left eight others injured. An Army Black Hawk helicopter was participating in a joint training exercise with a Navy ship when it slammed onto the deck of the vessel Thursday night. Officials believe the crash killed the pilot. The cause of the crash remains under investigation. The search continues this morning for a Jefferson City girl who disappeared Wednesday. We'll have the latest about what's happening today and what the search was like yesterday. We got Friday night fever tonight as well, so things are looking pretty good out there. Busy weekend. Very right. busy. Thanks, Michelle. Teams will start searching this morning for in the area where a Jefferson City girl went missing on Wednesday. The search for nine-year-old Elizabeth Olton begins in just a few minutes. Already, local authorities tell KOMU the half-square mile area where she disappeared has already been searched twice. KOMU 8's Michael Amenteo was on the scene yesterday as the search unfolded. As of right now, there are no persons of interest, but if you have any information, please call the Cole County Sheriff's Department. That's 573-634-9160. 
One local 911 operations manager hopes new legislation could help offset the cost of free 911 calls made from cell phones. KOMU8's Christine Slusher looks at how the new legislation could help other counties in the state. The search for a missing college student after a seven-year-old Florida girl is found dead. We'll have the latest on a string of disappearances both right here in mid-Missouri and across the nation as KOMU 8 News Today wraps up. A thank you note for the neighbors and those who have helped in an emotional exchange Thursday. Deanna Thompson says her family is devastated. Family and friends held a vigil for a missing Virginia Tech student, Morgan Harrington. Witnesses say they last saw the 20-year-old college student on Saturday night. And remember that KOMU 8 News is with you all day online at KOMU.com where we'll have as many updates as we can about the Jefferson City girl that's missing. The search is starting for her again in just about half an hour. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you right back here Monday morning at 4.30.